So we're currently growing around 45% month on month. That's been for the last four months. Now that's great. What does that mean? It means new communities coming on board. Well, what does that mean? Well, that's where my developer hat comes on. We got a lot of features to build today. It's Friday, let's get to the office. Woo! So what's the current state of Saab? Well, it's very different from when we originally started. And the reason that I say that is because when I first started Saab, I was building primarily for myself, full dog food mode, and I still am to be fair. And that's where I'm actually hosting my own Discord, my own personal dev club, Jacob's Dev Club, where we've got like 150 to 200 members paying for access to an exclusive Discord in their specific interest niche. Now, the thing that happens when you start building products for yourself is you start noticing things that really bug you. And one thing that really bugged me right from the start was that there was no decent platform that had good, fair creative fees that could automate people in and out of a Discord server for me personally that also had a beautiful landing page with Apple Pay, Google Pay, credit card ready to go that I could design, get up and running in two seconds and also didn't seem a little bit like scammy or weird kind of vibes on their site. And so that's literally where Sub came from. I was building for myself, but now we're at a point where there's a lot of people wanting a lot of custom stuff. And so now we need to build all that. Thank you so much. Cheers. So, so empty. So we've built integrations with Discord, Slack, and WhatsApp groups, so you can paywall all of those platforms right now through Sub. We've built custom integrations that allow automated moving of members in and out of your channels based on their customer subscription. So we actually handle all of that automatically for you. I just launched this, the brand new Users tab. And this is super sick because this is essentially where you can manage and see an overview of all of your active and inactive subscribers. So you can scroll down, you can sort by the claimed invites. We can actually see who's actually gone ahead and claimed the invite to jump into the Discord. And if they haven't, we can go into manage, we can resend them that invite. Oh, and the last thing that I completely forgot about, originally we were charging 4% per transaction, and that's just like industry standard, to charge a percentage fee of whatever transactions are coming through the platform. Now a lot of our competitors are starting at like four, five, six percent, going all the way up to like 11% when you include all the extra processing fees as well. We, the other day, literally cut our fees from 4% to 0%. I'm not kidding. And we've just moved to a freemium model. Check this out. So if you have a look inside the dashboard, you now see down the bottom left corner, a different display. And this is because now it's a complete freemium model. Zero fees and it's all based on your active plan. And as you can see, for the growth plan, I have up to 500 members. And you can just simply click on upgrade, instantly you've got access to more members with 0% platform fees, just processing fees, standard processing fees, and you're good to go. We're at a critical state now where we've got growing creators. We have communities that are coming on board every single day. I'm meeting, like my Calendly is booked up almost every day, all afternoon with new creators coming on board or new VCs wanting to put money in or whatever it might look like. And the biggest trend that I am noticing is that people are unhappy with current solutions out there. And I feel like this is where Sub can actually move the needle. You see, I believe that people should be able to monetize where they and their community already exist. I shouldn't be begging them to come to some random new platform and just be another developer shipping out some random iOS app that no one really wants to use. And that's why I built Sub the way that I've built it right now. But that comes with a cost because 
we don't own the platforms, which means we need to do automation between all these platforms. And so the next logical step, in my opinion, is we need to start automating data, data that's coming in from active paying subscribers to all the major CRM players. Now, I could go ahead and I could build custom integrations for every single one of these platforms, but that makes zero sense. Why would I build that when I could simply just build a Zapier integration? I think that would solve a lot of problems. So that plus allowing free subscriber tiers so you can actually just have free members coming in is a great thing. That also works really well with our freemium model because now we don't care about the transaction fees. It opens up so many more opportunities. So anyway, let's plan the day of the work that I'm gonna get done. And yeah, we'll go from there. Interesting question for all of you guys. How should free tiers be charged alongside our brand new freemium model on sub? Here I am on localhost and I've just got a demo account open right now. And as you can see, I am currently on the pro plan and I have up to a hundred members available to subscribe on this plan that I have right now. Now, what happens if I sell free tiers or essentially it's one-time access? Someone doesn't have to pay and then we programmatically add them to a Discord or a Slack or a WhatsApp group, at no point there's going to be an either cancellation or a failed payment attempt because it's free. So do we count that against the quota down here or does it need to be something completely separate? And the only reason I think about this is because let's just say you're on the free plan, you're allowed up to 15 members completely for free, 0% transaction fees as usual, but what happens if you have like 10 subscribers subscribe on a free tier and then you have five monthly paying subscribers? Do you have 15 or do you only have five? That is the question. And I feel like I'm leaning towards five. And the reason for that, if I go month over month over month, at some point, I'm gonna get above 100 users and now I'm gonna be on the growth plan, which is 129 bucks a month. And if all of those people were completely free, we're not actually really managing anything anymore because there's no subscription to cancel. Like if they cancel, normally we pull them out and then obviously we're using hardware and in the cloud and everything. So obviously sub needs to fund that cost. So you pay the subscription, but in a free sense, no one's ever gonna cancel. No one's ever gonna have a failed payment. So I guess, why would you be paying the 129? Would it be so that you can keep people coming in? Like, hmm, I really gotta figure that out. One idea that I did have though, that is maybe a little bit creative, but I think it could potentially work. What if you had free quotas? So say for example, on the free plan, you can have up to five or 10 free transactions come through the platform per month and then it resets. That could be a potential use case around because that means that you, like, you know, every month, if you've got 15 people coming in for free, you, you want to not hear that? I don't know what's going on. But anyway, those are just my thoughts. I'm thinking potentially I need to separate these two things out so that there's a monthly quota that resets for all free tiers. So essentially all I need to do is just like create a model in the database that's gonna be free tiers and that's just gonna like separate itself from subscriptions because they're not really subscriptions anymore, are they? They're more just transactions. But we already have a transactions table so I need to figure out another name for a model.
So you're probably wondering, why am I even taking VC calls? Well, in most cases, I'm not. And that's because we've already raised like 420, 430K, and it gives us like 1.5 to two years of runway with two to three full-time people in person working on sub. So we don't actually need to raise. However, it is always interesting to meet people, obviously like in London and in New York, who could potentially help us in the future when we inevitably do need to raise. Obviously it'd be nice if we got to like a profitable level before even having to raise, but I think like realistically, we're not, I'm not against raising in a sense. I think that if anything, raising is just like fuel on the fire to help you grow way faster for something that you could probably do without raising that would just take maybe like two or three times as long. So I'm super open to it. We're not actively raising right now, but it's always good I've found to just like build relationships with other people, whether that's like other founders, VCs, really good high quality customers, like it always helps you in the end. So yeah, that's why I do it. That's why I entertain it. Now anyway, one quick thing I'm gonna do before I hop onto these back-to-back -back calls, let's get a brand new product demo done that I can upload onto sub, onto the homepage, so that anyone coming through, whether they're interested for Discord, Slack, or the WhatsApp group integrations, it'll be relevant to them, not just one of the integrations and it's like an old dashboard view. So yeah, let's smash that out right now. Something I should think about though is, I don't really wanna show real data. Oh, let's see. Okay, here, here's another startup idea that someone should just build, just like a screen flow recording app that's not like a weird subscription model. Like it's literally just you pay once and you get it forever. Holy moly, it's so hot in here. Okay, I'm just gonna get a quick drink of water. All right, let's jump into this first meeting. So... Wait, I need to restart it. Well, that's all good. Dude, life is good. It's uh, it's clean, it's green, it's cheaper. There's good food, there's good coffee. Man, life's good. I do you want to do the HTML course so I yep. can know this stuff very well? And I did Dude, that's, that that's, that's what I did. Like, I actually, um, right from the start, I was more interested in like... But then you get forced into it, and then I went back... So I literally learned React before JavaScript, which is like impossible. <laughs> Was a uh, that was a super interesting creator call. Someone coming on board, completely free, like user subscriber base. They've got like two thousand people interested to sign up to essentially this free developer Slack. And the way that she makes money is not through the subscriptions, but it's through recruiting. And so it's like a channel of engineers who come in and if you're at a certain level and you've done a certain amount of like experience and like all this stuff, and she can like kind of like help recruit you like into a into a job yeah i'm also going to need to add an extra like tier that supports up to 2000 members coming in and once again this comes back to like the free versus subscriber like numbers like where is that tracked against um but i i'm, I'm just gonna have to come up with something because she's going live in like a week she needs tier up to 2000 users she loves the forms like the custom type form integration that i built into our platform she would love if there's a way that it can like auto accept forms based on responses. So like kind of like LinkedIn, the way that when you apply for a job and it auto sends to the recruiter based on responses, got to get some stuff done. But otherwise the free tiers are looking good. Just had a whole lot of calls. I, uh, I've done the WeWork beer, the pale ale. It's not bad, it's actually not bad. The only thing I don't really like is these like metal cups. It's like there's something weird about it, but it's been a good day, very productive day. I, uh, I actually filmed an entire walkthrough for both the entire platform of Sub, which was like three minutes of just like demoing all the features on Sub really quickly, um, but also a WhatsApp specific one that I can edit up, chop up into like a LinkedIn specific post. That would just be really good to just demonstrate on LinkedIn how you can monetize a WhatsApp group super fast. So I think what I'll do is I'll try and edit something up really fast, get a video uploaded on the site. All right, let's do some editing. I think that's a 
day for us guys. Friday, my head is scrambled. We pushed so much this week. So super stoked about that. Might be time for a Guinness. Thanks for watching. See you guys soon.